All right, take a look at this. The weather could bring more trouble for drivers in the coming days. We're going to drop into the 20s tonight, then climb back into the 70s by next week. And what you have there is a perfect recipe for potholes. Indeed. <laughs> NBC10 First Alert Meteorologist Steve Sosten is here to explain why you might feel a few more bumps in the road. And I'm doing this whole explanation because on Monday I was out with my mother and she's clenching the, you know, the sides of the car. And I'm like, right. am I that bad of a driver? And she goes, <laughs> no, there's potholes ahead. And I went, ah, oh, oh. all right. I was like, you know, I drive pretty good. But <laughs> potholes can ruin your day real quickly. So let's talk about how they get set up and why they happen so much around here. So we went through a lot of this, right? Winter driving, salt on the roadways, plows, that played a role in the situation. Why? Well, it puts cracks in the road. So let's bring the road into the studio. You see this massive crater here, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of them. So here's our road surface. It's not just the surface that we're talking about here, it's actually layers. And so it's really that layer underneath the roadway that is super important here. And this is what I'm talking about. That rain comes down and seeps through the cracks. Well, guess what? It just sits there. You see that layer right here? That blue layer, it just sits there for a while. This time of year, we get cold nights, so that water freezes. What happens? That ice expands. It pushes outward. You see that upward arrow? So that's creating space now. Well, you know our weather. It's changeable. It dries out. You get wind. You get sunshine. And now that ice is gone. That ice was a filler. So now you have all this space that you see in this gray area right now, an open gap. Well, the problems get worse from here on out, right? Because you got traffic. You got all kinds of vehicles, tractor trailers, 40,000 pounds, cars that are 3,000 pounds. They keep coming and coming. And what happens is that space now gets crushed on down. So you're seeing these massive holes develop. And the more the rain happens, the more the freeze happens, the bigger that hole gets. So what we're going to talk about, what you need to do, Check that your tires are properly inflated. This is certainly a big deal. You don't want to slam on your brakes as you're hitting the pothole. You want to brake before you get there. Have a spare tire in your car and leave ample room between you and the car in front of you. If you're tailgating somebody, you're not going to see that pothole. And beware of puddles. Those puddles could have some moon-sized craters in them. We'll talk about some more positive attributes of spring-like weather coming up here in just a few minutes. Guys, over to you. All right, Steve, thank you so much.